<clears throat> what a Monday night in the NHL. I'm still coming. I'm still uh, trying to come down for that big high for that uh, win uh, by the Avs over the Ducks. A win we kind of needed because Seattle didn't do their job. <clears throat> but anyway. Um, but um, this fun-filled Monday in the NHL also included two teams who didn't play tonight. Clinching their spots in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Um, to make it easier on those guessing, well, those you already know, they're both of the original six. Here's the first one. Now, Toronto is in. They got in thanks to, ironically, the Senators. Yeah. Uh, Le the Leafs and their fans had to root for their provincial rivals because that's who Florida was playing. All they needed was a Florida loss. Didn't have to be in regulation, but it ended up being in regulation. A 5-2 to two loss <clears throat> in Ottawa. And it's playoff time for Ontario's main team. Yes, I said main. <laughs> now, I say that. I say that, but we all know what's at stake for the Maple Leafs. Well, the cup is the ultimate goal, but the goal they need to accomplish is winning four playoff games. Something they haven't done since 2004. Uh, this is their seventh straight post. This is their seventh straight postseason. <clears throat> and eighth since their last play, uh, win, but um, they have not advanced. They have not advanced in the playoffs. We all know the story. We've all heard it. It's been repeated over and over by people who just love to pick on the Leafs, but... Yeah, it's just, it hasn't been good. It has been good, but here's what I think. Here's what I think. I think the rank, uh, the the Maple Leafs are still on that on coming on coming off a roll for that for the for the shortened season because it was their best season in twenty years. It was the first time they won a division since two thousand, and they've been. Um, Really, coming off a, a big high, and um, it's they've had some good regular seasons, but sadly, it hasn't uh, resulted in anything. And um, but and as a result, not only do they have the cup drought, but they have the longest playoff series victory drought thanks to, because Florida ended theirs last year. But I think I think there's going to be a long run by the Leafs because. It's a foregone conclusion they're going to face Tampa. Tampa is very weak this year. They are, I think they're running out of gas finally, looks, at least for the looks of it. So I think Toronto should take them out this time. I really do. And I sense a long run by the Leafs. They're going to do it. Edmonton had a long run last year, and we all know they're not as good as Toronto. And But I can see the Leafs getting the same. <clears throat> but as I said, two teams could spots. Here's who else joined the party. The New York Rangers are in. Yes, they didn't play either. Now, they needed just a little bit more to happen. They needed Florida to lose a regulation, which did happen. They also needed Buffalo to lose. Now, it didn't have to be a regulation, but they were playing Montreal, but so it was tough. However, Montreal did manage to come back, tie the game, force overtime. They had a power play in overtime, but didn't score on it. The shootout happened. It went six rounds, and Montreal got the one shootout goal. So as a result of all that, the New York Rangers are playoff out. Now, we all know what happened with the Rangers uh, last season. They were close. They were this close. They went deep. They took... Um, they took the Rangers out in seven. They came back from three games. Three, they came back from a three-one uh, deficit to take uh, this, take out the Penguins in seven, and then they beat the Hurricanes in seven. It took games. It, it took game seven in Raleigh, and they went up against the Lightning, <clears throat> the back-to-back -back defending champions at the time. They won the first two games, but they ran out of gas after that. Um, it was a great run by the Rangers. It was a couple years in the making. It all started, to think, to think, this all started 
with the Rangers winning the lottery in in that in that uh COVID affected season. <sighs> yeah, um, yeah, the, yeah. The, the lottery, the rules for the lottery changed. The the, the the eight losing teams for the qualifying round were in the um. How'd that go? Oh yeah, um, how'd that go? Uh, the winner of the draft lottery would be one of the, end up being one of the eight losing teams for the qualifying round. And uh, when they had to draw, when they had part two of the lottery for no one pick, it ended up being the Rangers. And they got Lafreniere, and they um, added to their <clears throat> already stacked team. Shosturkin was had a dream season last year, won the Vesna, and it's been amazing. So, yeah, so the Rangers, uh, and they got Tarasenko, and they got Tarasenko and Kane and Patrick Kane in trades. And many are saying they have a chance to go all the way. But um, it's going to be interesting to see how the Rangers do this year because um, they need, they're going to have to, they're going to have to match that long run, if not improve for from it. And improving means at least reaching the final. So we'll see if they do that. So it's interesting how, it's interesting how it looks now. Five playoff spots are clinched, but they're all in the Eastern Conference. They are all in the Eastern Conference. Uh, Boston, as far as prediction, mm. we know Boston won the Atlantic. They're number one in the Atlantic. Toronto, Toronto has clinched no has clinched at least third place. That's the lowest they can go. They either finish second or third. They're gonna be in the, they're gonna be in the two three series. Most likely, it's gonna be against Tampa. Uh, all that's got to decide is where game one's going to be. The standings will do that. Uh, of course, last year, Toronto had home ice, but sadly, it didn't work out for them. Um, as for the Metro, the winner of the Metro has not been decided yet, but we do know this. Carolina and New Jersey are cemented in the top three. Neither of these teams can finish alone in third. The Rangers... The Rangers um, could actually finish below third, but a lot has to happen. I mean, they are ahead of the fourth place Islanders by a lot of points. They are. I'm sorry, I'm seeing people. I'm watching something. I'm watching something here, but um, but they are, but they are just about a few points away from locking up third place at least. So we, yeah, the top three is pretty much set. So all that's set to the side is under positioning. So um, um. Yeah, so it's amazing. Three spot, three playoff spots are remaining. We pretty much know Tampa is going to get one of them. And the wild card, while it looks like, while it looks like it was, um, well, it looks like a foregone conclusion. It's not. It's really not because it's pretty close. Um, uh, the, the Islanders of Pittsburgh hold the spots, but Florida is close behind them. And um, there's still Ottawa and Buffalo. They have outside chances. <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's very interesting. Five playoff spots have clinched. All in the East. Nobody in the West has clinched yet. Now, tomorrow, we could get our first Western team in the playoffs because Vegas' magic number is three points. And they play, and Nashville, the, the, the team that number is connected to, also play. So we could get a West clinch tomorrow. If so, I'll be back tomorrow to yes, congratulate the Golden Knights. I mean especially especially since uh for Jack Eichel, he's finally gonna be in the playoffs. He's never been. So um that's my video. Again, congratulations to the Maple Leafs and to the Rangers for making it. And um we'll see who else fill we'll see who fills the other three spots. Like I said Tampa Bay should get one of them, and the wild card is still kind of tight. But, uh, yeah, I'll be back. I could be back tomorrow in case Vegas clinches. And uh, I'll definitely be on Sunday to recap everything in the last week, so stay tuned.